if you look at CW's new schedule yesterday, you notice something was missing. Green Arrow and the Canaries. But apparently the show's not dead. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and I got a little update on Green Arrow and the Canaries. But first, I wanted to remind everybody, if you're looking for your place for all your comic book news, rumors, and reviews, all while looking for the best and positive in these characters we love, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Well, yesterday, while we were parsing through details about that Superman and Lois series, we got to get a peek at the full release schedule for the CW. Now, instead of kicking off this October, it's been delayed to January due to the current health epidemic. And while Supergirl's been pushed back to May, in case you didn't know, Melissa Bonet is pregnant, Superman and Lois is going to premiere next year. But if you were looking at it, you may have noticed there was no mention of the spinoff Green Arrow and the Canaries. But this doesn't mean that it's dead. So during the call to discuss the upcoming CW lineup, the network's president, Mark Pedowitz, had a little to say about this. It wasn't much, but he did say, and I quote, it's very much alive. And there are active discussions about it being ordered the series. But he didn't get any more specific than that. Now, this really shouldn't surprise anybody. With all this stuff going on around the world, everybody's bottom line is being hit really hard. So I'm sure it's really hard to commit to anything from a business perspective. The CW is actually not committing to other shows. They even mentioned that some other projects, such as that Rivendell spinoff, being renewed would really be dependent on streaming numbers. What that says to me and many other people is that the CW is looking to save a couple bucks. And it's good spell, not good news for Green Arrow and the Canaries. So what this means is, without it being in the current lineup, the best time we could see it would be next October. That's right, 15 months from now. I gotta be honest, that's such a long wait between introduction to an actual series, I think all the hype would have died. It's really hard to tell, but no matter what Pedowitz says, it looks like the series could be in trouble or very well might be dead. What do you guys think? Do you think Green Arrow and the Canaries is going to ever see the air? Or is this series dead before it is even produced? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like. Click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.